Hey folks, John Hazlett here, Ashland Fly Shop. I don't want you to be afraid of the single spay. It's a little bit of a daunting cast for many, but it's it's really not that hard. It's a great cast with a dry line. I've got a Scandi line here on the, the Sage 7140X. I've got the 460 uh, Rio Scandi. It's not a tough cast. My good friend Charles St. Pierre, every year at the Sandy Spay Clave, gives me my long line tune-up. He brings his big 15, you know, foot Bruce and Walker and, you know, super long heads. I've taken what he's shown me and compacted it down into a stroke that I just call, you know, kind of the long line cast or the tournament style. Uh, it might have another name, I don't know, but that's what I call it. And so let's go through the parts and we'll put it all together, talk about the subtleties and see if we can't make it work for you. So first thing, I'm gonna point my feet at my target and then I'm gonna rotate my hips downstream to my hang down. My arms are nice and loose, hanging loose, shoulders relaxed. My top hand, palm up, bottom hand, palm down. So the first move of every spade cast is a lift. So in this case, my lift is just a, a bicep curl with my right arm and a reverse bicep curl with my, my left hand, my bottom hand. So I'm gonna do about a two thirds bicep curl and that's my lift. And from here, I'm just gonna rotate my hips around to my target. And as soon as I get square with my target, my anchor splashes down, D-loop forms, and then I can make my cast. So let's put that together here. Feet are pointing at my target. Shoulders and arms are relaxed. Here's my lift. Nice slow lift. Rotate. Boom. There's my single spay. Pretty simple. Not a lot of moving parts. To me, this is a very simplified method. Now, if you have a longer line, the main difference is going to be when you get to your key position, you're going to lift and drift your top hand back a little more and your bottom hand out a little bit more to accommodate a longer line. And so that would look a little more like this. Here's my lift. And so when I get here with a longer line, I might come back a little further because I've got to make a bigger D loop before I make my forward cast. So the longer ahead you have, the more lift and drift you're gonna have here when you get to the key position uh, before you execute your forward cast. But the forward cast basically, my top hand with a shorter line like a Scandi is gonna be about cheek level, bottom hand out. My forward cast is gonna look like this. My bottom hand is gonna pull down on a curve towards my belt. Boom, and then I let it fly. Nice high rod stop will make a nice tight loop. Now, what we have to do to make this cast work well is put all the parts together. So from my lift, between my lift and my dish move, those have to be connected. They have to be connected. I don't want to stop at the top of the lift or I'm going to lose the tension. Okay? I want to stay connected throughout the cast. So I'm going to lift slow and as I start my dish, I'm going to maintain that speed until I'm about, my rod tip is about uh, even with my target. And that's about when your line comes out of the water. So think of it like this. Let's say I'm going one mile per hour. So here's my lift, one mile per hour. And when I get about here is when my line releases and that's when I apply the power, I slightly accelerate to make my D-loop. And one thing that helps that a lot is when my, my bottom hand comes out. So I'm going slow, 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 and then boom, right here. As soon as that bottom hand comes out, that accelerates my rod tip, which places my anchor down, forms my D-loop, and then I make that forward cast. Here we go again. So nice slow lift, same speed, same speed. Boom, that bottom hand kicks out. And as soon as that bottom hand kicks out, it sets my anchor, energizes my D-loop, and then I can make that forward cast. So anchor placement is key with a single spay. And so what puts your anchor in the right spot is the, 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 the speed and height at which you do this whole process. 
And so depending on the length of your rod, the length of the head of your line, you have to experiment a little bit to dial it in. Uh, and, and the depth you're waiting is a variable. If you have any kind of tip on, there's, there's a lot of variables. So you have to experiment a little bit on your own to dial that in. I've got just a straight dry line here with a short, uh, you know, a Scandi head. So it doesn't, it, it's pretty easy to get out of the water and make, make it work. So there's my single. So I'm going real slow, slow, slow. As the rod comes around towards the target, when the rod tip gets about right here, which is where I'm aiming, that's when my line releases. So you kind of have to, um, in some ways, anticipate the release point. That's when your fly comes out of the water. Stay connected, bottom hand comes out, D-loop forms, anchor splashes down, and then you can initiate that forward cast. Here we go again. Okay, so if you use these steps, feet are pointed at the target, hips are rotated downstream, shoulders are loose, hands, arms relaxed, two-thirds bicep curl, stay on this plane, bottom hand comes out, everything set, forward cast goes, we've done the single spay. It's not as scary as you think. Thanks for tuning in.